Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about using interrupts with Arduino. In any Arduino project you're having a loop function which does precisely what its name suggests. It loops endlessly executing the code for that project. Interrupts allow you to uh, stop executing the uh, loop function and execute certain important tasks in the background and when those important tasks are executed return back to the uh, main uh, code in the loop function. ISR interrupt service routine is an event with an attached code that reacts to changes on the interrupt pin. External interrupt stops executing the loop function and executes codes that is uh, present in the ISR. When ISR code is executed, processor returns back to the loop function to the state where it left off. The syntax for declaring the interrupt in the Arduino code looks like this. We use an um, attach interrupt statement. The statement has three parameters. The first one is the number of the interrupt pin. ISR, this is actually the function that is going to be executed when the uh, interrupt kicks in. And then a mode. We have three different modes the interrupt can be running in. Rising is the mode where the interrupt is activated when the value on the interrupt pin changes from high to low. Falling is the mode where, where the interrupt is executed where the state of the pin changes from low to high. And the last one, change, is the mode which basically activates the interrupt whenever uh, there is any change. Not all the pins can be used for external interrupts. In Arduino Uno, uh, you can use pin 2 and 3. In Arduino Nano, you can use pin 2 and 3 as well. Arduino Mega has much more pins. Uh, you can use pins 2, 3, 18, 19, 20 and 21. If you have any other Arduino board, uh, you'd have to check the datasheet to see which uh, pins can be used for interrupts. Let's create a simple project where we can test interrupts. We'll have one push button and whenever we press that button we will be increasing the counter variable by one. So each time we press the button the counter variable is going to be uh, in increased by one. So let's write the code. First we are going to declare the counter variable. In the setup function, we'll set the value of the counter variable to zero. Then we can um, declare the interrupt using the attach interrupt uh, statement. Uh, we'll be using uh, pin three. Uh, the function attached to the um, interrupt would be increase the counter function and the mode we'll be using will be rising. The last thing in the setup uh, function is to uh, open the serial port. In the increase the counter function there will be only one line of code. Counter equals counter plus one. In loop we write to the serial output uh, the values of the counter so we actually see um, how it increases with each press of the button. I'm also putting one second delay so the um, the value of the counter is uh, written to the uh, serial output every second. And the code is ready. So here how uh, the code uh, should uh, work. 
we start the loop function and it's being executed until the button is pressed. When the button is pressed, uh, the value of the on the pin 3 changes from low to high and since we are using the rising mode that triggers the interrupt. So the loop function is stopped and we are going to the increase the counter function and it gets executed and the counter gets increased by 1. Uh, when we release uh, the button uh, the value on the pin changes back to low but there is no interrupt attached uh, with uh, that change because we are not using defaulting mode. So we are going back to the loop function and it gets executed until we press the button again. When that happens, again loop function is stopped, we execute increase the counter function and the counter gets increased to 2. We can do it over and over again. So now let's put uh, the uh, components on the breadboard. We are using Arduino Nano. We are using a push button. We connect one side of the push button uh, with uh, our interrupt pin 3. Then the other side of the button we connect via the pull-up resistor to ground. And also, the same side of the uh, button we connect to uh, 5 volts on the Arduino. We can connect the power and load our program into the uh, Arduino Nano board. And we are ready to run some tests. We'll start uh, tests with rising mode. So here, each time we press the button, uh, the counter value should increase by 1. Works perfectly. To test the folding mode, we need to adjust the code, so uh, change the mode in the attach interrupt statement, reload the program into the board, so here we are expecting to see the increase of the counter each time we re release the button. The value on the pin changes from high to low. Also works as expected. And the last mode to test is the change mode. Again, we are making changes in, in the code. In this mode, a counter gets increased both when we press and release the button. So basically each time there is a change uh, on the interrupt pin. So now we tested all three available modes. If you like this video and you want to support me in creating similar content, please like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. In the future I will be creating few other videos um, showing the practical use of interrupts in Arduino projects. Until next time.